Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this meeting of the City Council's Health Committee. I am Mark Levine, Chair of the Committee, and pleased to be joined by fellow Health Committee members, Councilmember Alika Ampri Samuel, Councilmember Andy Cohen, Councilmember Bob Cohen, and Councilmember Keith. <laughs> what did I call you? <laughs> Sorry. Um, Councilmember Holden, I apologize, and Councilmember Keith Powers. Uh, we are considering today a sweeping and historic package of legislation to advance animal welfare in New York City. Thank you for observing the protocol. <laughs> and several of the sponsors are here with us today. And uh, I couldn't be prouder of this package. It includes intro 1378, sponsored by Councilmember Rivera, which would place a ban on the sale of foie gras that's made by force-fed birds who suffer engorgement and diseasing of the liver in what is clearly an inhumane practice. We will also be voting on intro of intro 1202, also sponsored by Councilmember Rivera, which increases penalties for the netting and trafficking of wild birds, including pigeons, a practice which is more common than people might be aware, and transport those birds to be killed in shooting games in New Jersey and elsewhere. Clearly a practice we cannot allow to continue. We'll also be voting on intro 1570, um, of which I am pleased to be the lead sponsor, which would ensure that animals are properly vaccinated with the Bordadella vaccine before entering an animal shelter. You can do this for that too, <laughs> because this pre prevents the very common occurrence of the canine version of whooping cough, which can be fatal. So we want to prevent that from happening in our shelter system. We are also voting on intro 1425, sponsored by Councilmember Powers, which adds a heat index for horse carriages to make sure that these horses do not suffer when there is extreme heat and humidity. We are also considering intro 1478, sponsored by Councilmember Brennan, which requires additional reporting on animal abuse in New York City. We will be considering intro 870, sponsored by Councilmember Borelli, which ensures that animal shelters are doing all they can to increase the adoption of animals. We'll also be considering several resolutions, including Resolution 397, sponsored, sponsored by Councilmember Rosenthal, to recognize Meatless Mondays in New York City, which will be a win for our environment, for the health of our kids, and of course for humane treatment of animals. We are also considering Resolution 798, sponsored by Councilmember Brennan, calling on the state of New York to prevent pet stores from offering dogs, cats, or rabbits for sale. We're considering introduction, excuse me, Resolution 921, sponsored by Majority Leader Cumbo, calling on the state of New York to provide a tax credit for the adoption of household pets. And finally, we'll be considering Resolution 977, sponsored by Councilmember Holden, calling on the federal government to pass the so-called PACT Act, making animal abuse illegal at the federal level. Now, several of these bills, I want to acknowledge, will have an impact on business. But as society evolves, we have a right to expect that business practices evolve as well. That has happened again and again and again. And I am incredibly proud that this city council has belatedly and thankfully begun to put empathy for the suffering of animals front and center on our agenda. And more importantly, that we are translating that empathy into tangible policy, smart policy, for the animals in this city and beyond. And that does mean changing the food we consume and changing the food production system. That means caring for the wildlife in the city. And yes, there is wildlife in the city, in the air, in the waterways, in the parks, and making sure that we protect their environment and protect against 
they are mistreatment. It means protecting domestic animals, companions in the shelter system to make sure that they are healthy and treated fairly and with respect. And yes, it also means we need to respect the treatment of animals which do work in this city and make sure that they do not suffer unduly. And this package of bills moves us forward on all of those fronts. And I am incredibly proud of my colleagues, of this committee, uh, and of this city council for taking these historic measures. Um, I would like to ask the bill sponsors who are with us at the moment if they would like to speak. And I'll start with you. OK, no. Um, council Member Holden, would you like to speak? OK. Um, all right, then we are going to proceed with a calling of the roll, and I will ask our committee clerk, Billy Martin, uh, to please proceed. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on health. All items are coupled. Chair Levine. I proudly vote aye on all. Cohen. Aye. Ampre Samuel. Permission to explain my vote? For me, this is quite difficult. Um, Everyone knows, first of all, I'm a vegetarian. And so when it comes to animal cruelty, I even consider how animals are slaughtered for the consumption of food um, by just human beings, period, just disgusting. But that's my own personal views. That's not what we're talking about. I also feel um, that when you mentioned in your opening remarks, Chair, that this may have, you know, some of these bills may have implications on businesses. And for me, that's what makes this vote difficult because we talk about animals in one sense in the protection of animals and animal cruelty, but then we don't have a reasonable plan for making sure that people who are in these um, fields are protected in some kind of way if it has to do with them being a, losing their jobs. And so for me, it's quite difficult to, in one sense, protect animals, and in another sense, cause harm for um, just everyday people who live in New York. It's, it's quite difficult. And, um, but at the same time, I would be a hypocrite if I was to, in one sense, vote against you know, something that would protect animals, and at the same time, defend you know, just everyday workers. So this is, a, is, is quite a challenge, it's quite difficult, but I'm about protecting everyone, all um, creatures um, on this earth and this planet. And so with that, I have to vote aye on all, but I really think that as a body and as a council, we should be in the business of making sure that we don't destroy um, folks who are working every day without having some kind of plan to ensure that three years from now they can still have some level of viable business. And so um, with that, I just, I just had to say that for the record, but, um, but I do vote aye on all and it's with great difficulty. Holden. Aye on all. Powers. Aye. Eugene. I would aye. We have a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All, all items have been adopted by the committee. Okay. This concludes our hearing and our vote. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs>